and you and you wherever you're joining us from welcome to another episode of morning a glow your midweek refresher as god speaks to you as you are on the train as you're on the bus as you're heading in the subway right now as you're still in bed maybe you're already at work we want to thank you so very much for joining us morning glow is brought to you by the dunamis seventh day adventist church out of east new york please feel free to visit us at 461 montauk avenue when you are in our neighborhood or you can join us online on facebook and also on twitch and here on youtube we're happy to have you i'm your host for this morning pop san francis now the bible tells us that we should make a joyful noise unto the lord are you ready to make a joyful noise this morning i know you are because the comment section has already been blowing up like half an hour before morning glow started and i'm just going to take the time to recognize some of our early birds so Anne, welcome Anne, welcome Chrissy, welcome Margaret, welcome Orlando McAllister, welcome Samantha, Cynthia, Patricia, Charles, our pastor is here, Rhonda. There are so many early birds this morning and we are happy, happy, happy to be with you as we delve into the theme of true education. Without any further delay, I'm going to invite our darling, I, I really like her a lot, <laughs> she's such a dear, our darling, Suzanne Doyle, to pray with us, allowing us to glow in prayer as we enter the presence of the Most High God. Good morning, Sudi. Good morning. Thank you, Popsan. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Uh, let us bow our heads and close our eyes as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, for another day. We thank you for blessing us to open our eyes to embrace another day. So many didn't have this opportunity, O Lord. Be with us, O God, as we worship you on, on this early morning. I pray, O oh Lord, that what is going to be presented here, that we would receive it and it would be a blessing to ourselves and we would share that blessing with others, O oh Lord. We thank you for those who have tuned in on YouTube and on Facebook. Bless them all, O oh Lord, and we thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You're hearing me, but you're not seeing me. Okay, you're seeing me now. Thank yes. you so very much, Suzanne. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you again for bringing us into the presence of the Lord in prayer. Amen. Let's be, be safe today, okay? Yes, you too. Okay, bye -bye. All right. So our next uh, aspect of our program, we know, you know, if you have been joining us, and if you have not been joining us and it's your first time here on Morning Glow, we not only cater to the spiritual man, but we also cater to the physical man. So to allow us to glow in health, it's Morning Glow, right? So to allow us to glow in health, I'm going to invite our dearest, <laughs> Chiholda Marshall Gibson. I met her for the first time this morning. She's so calm and so pleasant and i'm going to introduce her to you so welcome shiholda thank you good morning everyone and for this morning thank you Margaret. i'll be talking about the eucalyptus plant so the eucalyptus plant the primary compound in this plant is called eucalyptus and what it does, it relaxes the nerve tissues. So if there is spasm or constriction, it can be an open and dilate the lungs tissues. It thins the mucus. It allows mucus to come out of the lungs or out of the sinuses. It has very strong antimicrobial properties. It inhibits things like tuberculosis. Versus viruses, candida, and bacteria. It's like a natural antibiotic. It also helps to process cough. So if you have a chronic cough, especially at night, 
it will really help you for being this team. Another interesting thing is it suppresses cytokine. You know something that causes inflammation, swelling, and pain. Whenever you breathe in eucalyptus or take it as a supplement, it can help to build pain, reduce inflammation, and it can reduce swelling. It is also good for arthritis, and again, anything that's related to the lungs, whether it's asthma, pneumonia, or bronchitis, eucalyptus is a broad spectrum medicine. It has been studied and is deemed effective and safe. So make sure to use eucalyptus regularly. Um, it is also a um, good immune booster as well, so you can add it to your kids as well. And that's your health nugget for this morning. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Shreholder. You know what? Last night I felt a little stuffy. And the first thing that came to my mind because of what mommy taught me from Jamaica, right? Get some drops of eucalyptus oil, put it in the water and steam your face. So I'm going to be doing that because here you came this morning with that same message. So thank you so much for sharing with us. We really appreciate it. All right. Perfect. Now, it is amazing. When we praise God, our troubles disappear. Has that ever happened to you? Can I get a testimony this morning? You feel overwhelmed. You feel as if everything is going wrong. And you just shout out some hallelujah in the house. And sometimes your neighbors may be thinking, is this woman, is this man, is this child crazy? You just start shouting hallelujah. You just start praising God. And that's what we're going to be doing this morning. Even if you have not started your day. And if you have started your day, we're going to praise God we're going to put hallelujah in the chat if you're somewhere where you can shout hallelujah shout hallelujah if you're somewhere where you can't shout hallelujah give a praise session in your mind and let's just give god the glory i'm going to use the word of elder mac orlando McAllister. he put in the chat this morning he said good morning to us saints of god we are blessed to see another day. Are you blessed this morning? I want us to give God the praise. Are you blessed this morning? Because he is indeed a wonderful, wonderful God. Ella Max says, our oh, God is good. I'm going to say, our oh, God is so good and great. And he asks us to stay positive absolutely amazing i'm going to go in the chat right now because some comments are coming in hallelujah okay the hallelujahs are coming in sister patricia i missed you on server don't do it again <laughs> hallelujah althea is in the house hallelujah margaret is saying hallelujah sean i know maybe you're all already at work or you're on your way to work Hallelujah, the hallelujahs are coming in. Margaret is saying, I am so blessed. Wanda is saying her hallelujah. Suzanne, I know you're saying hallelujah this morning. Yes, God is so good. And we give him all the praise, all the honor. Sister Pat is responding to me when I told her, no, do it again. She's like, I won't do it again. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so very much as we praise God together. We have a young man here with us this morning. He has such a wonderful voice. His voice is beautiful. And when I hear him sing, especially last about I'm like, whoa, my voice is melodious. So George, don't want to get you blushing and swelling your head here, but I'm going to bring you on camera. I see you smiling. I see you smiling. But guess what? When we are, when we have been given talents as young people, and you're using them for God, we should be very, very proud of that. So thank you so much for coming. Go ahead, and I'm going to stay on screen with you to enjoy the beautiful song as we go in song to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. I'm happy to be here this morning with you. The song I'll be sharing is Find Us Faithful. And one of the reasons why I love this song is because Every day it stands as a reminder 
to me that the life that I live, it should be a life that one can look on and see Jesus in. As the Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good work and come to glorify God. So for all of us this morning, the message is, let us live in such a way that others can look in our lives and see Jesus exemplified. We're pilgrims on a journey on the narrow road. And those who've gone before us lie the way. Cheering on the faithful, encouraging the weary. Their lives a stirring testament of God's sustaining grace. The greater clouds of weaknesses. Let us run this race not only for the prize, but as those who've gone before us, let us leave to those behind us the heritage of faithfulness passed on through godly love. For we all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of our devotion light their way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe that the life we live inspire them to obey. For oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. Mm -hmm. After all our hopes and dreams have come and gone, and our children sift through what we've left behind. May the clues that they discover and the memories they uncover become the light that will lead them to a road we each must find. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of our devotion light the way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe that the life we live inspire them to obey. For oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. May the fire of our devotion light the way. May the footprints that we leave lead them to believe that the life we live inspire them to obey. Oh, may all who come behind us find us faithful. Oh, 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 come behind us, find us faithful. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank you so much, George 
for just bringing us to the presence of God by your gift of singing. God bless you and have a wonderful day, okay? All right. Okay, perfect. Now, it is my absolute honor and privilege to introduce the person who will be speaking to us on the behalf of God this morning. I met her a few years back, I believe over 10 years. Yes, just about a decade ago, I met this young lady uh, when my husband and I, Pastor DC, were pastoring his first district as a senior pastor by himself aside his own district. And we had eight churches. It was so rough. Stories for other days. We had eight churches and we met this wonderful Christian, calm young lady. We were so impressed with her character as a, as a Christian young woman. We're all young, right? We're about the same age. We're so impressed. Uh, we were so blessed by her ministry of music. And she traveled with us many times into the district, singing a lot of driving up and down. And I was so amazed when Honey and I came to Dunamis a few months ago, about seven months ago, and we met the fries. And when we met the fries, and the fries, Norvlet was talking about her daughter, Claudia. I'm like, there's only one fries I've ever met in my life, and that was Claudia. Only to realize the connection, mother and daughter. And when I realized, like, oh, like parents, like children, Christian home. You could see it because she had a distinct mark, Claudia, as a Christian young woman. And we are so happy that she's here with us this morning to bless our hearts. Claudia uh, Fries Butler is going to be talking to us on the theme of true education. Whoa. You're a good girl. Sorry, young woman. Sorry, woman. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead, my dear. Thank you so very much, Sister Popson. Good morning, everyone. It is a pleasure sharing with you this morning. I bring you greetings from the Albion Seventh-day Adventist Church here in St. Thomas, Jamaica. Thank you, Pastor Francis and Sister Francis and Elder Fries for having me this morning. It's a pleasure to share with you. Backstory, Popson, I actually knew you quite a long time before you actually met me. Um, I was aware of you going to university, so. And I knew of you and lovely pastor. DC. Yes. <laughs> it was a pleasure to have met you in person. Um, such a wonderful experience that I've had in previous times. And the fact that you mention, like parents, um, you, you, you understand exactly where the child is. And let's talk about true education this morning. And who is really the representation of who is really the reputation of representation of God on earth to us that we will actually learn about true education? Let us pray before we get into my short discourse. Mighty God, thank you for just waking us up this morning. As you've laid this song on my heart, if you can use anything, God, you can use me. And I'm asking you to touch my lips this morning and let those who are in the hearing of my voice will learn of you, see less of me, and come to glorify you in your mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So I am so excited to talk about this. I don't know if any, any of you know. Some of you may know I am an educator. I've been an educator for the past seven years. And God has a purpose for my life. And I believe that is why I ended up teaching or in the school system. And so now I have a different job. I'm now a parent and I'm now a different educator to a child. So I'm going to get into it as to what true education is. I want to share one of my personal experiences with you this morning as a child I can remember learning to tell the time. I don't know if any of you here from Jamaica 
one or two and you can remember your parents teaching you just pitch and this so my mother is in the kitchen and she's cooking I can remember she's doing something in the kitchen I was very small very young and I'm sitting around the table and I can remember her coming to show me each time what the hands of the clock mean and how you tell it and the minutes and she's going back and forth and at the time I'm like why do I have to learn this I really don't want to and she kept on going back and forth, back and forth to teach me. And now, as an adult, I must say, I appreciated Sister Fries, Elder Fries rather, to have spent the time because now, being a grown up, I understand how to use the time. I understand how to tell the time. And I understand how to give the time. And as much as I'm saying this, I'm thinking about my life, spending the time with God, giving the time to God, right? And sharing this time with others, pleasing God. So my mother and all her wisdom, probably, you know, it, at that time, she just thought that she was really just giving me a, a, a concept to understand. But as I grew, I realized that not just necessarily the time that she, the clock that she taught me about, but when I thought of the things that she taught me as a Christian young lady growing up, I see how important it is to walk in the path of righteousness. Type in the chat, walk in the path of righteousness. Proverbs 22 and verse 6 says it best. I will not depart from it. Because I was taught from a child, thank God, today I can tell the time because I am walking in the path of righteousness because my parents taught me how to walk in the path of righteousness. Proverbs 22 says, train up a child, train up a child in the way he should go, that when he is old, he will not depart from it. And this is exactly what we're saying. You are taught from an early age, from an early stage to walk in the path of righteousness that when you are old, you will not depart from it. When I look at true education and the definition from dictionary.com, it means education is both the act of teaching knowledge to others and the act of receiving knowledge from someone else. Education also refers to the knowledge received. So I, I love this definition because I looked at every other definition. And while they all defined education, when I looked at this definition, I just loved it. Listen, listen, let me just read it one more time. It says education is both the act of teaching knowledge and to others and the act of receiving knowledge from someone I had to pause there. Someone, let's think about it. Do we have a master teacher? I'm your teacher this morning. I am asking you a question. Do we have a master teacher this morning? Type in the chat. Come on, let me see all the bright students this morning. Do we have a master teacher? Who is our master teacher? Who is the someone that we are learning from this morning? Talk to me in the chat. Talk to me. Right? It says, this someone is teaching knowledge to us. And as I get into the meat of the battle, when you think of what is taught to you now, now in Jamaica, we have various stages as we go in academics. So after you have completed the, the level that I'm teaching at now, I, I, am, I, am, I, am, I am at the prep school level. Yes, I love it. See the prep? Yes, Patricia, I'm loving it. Yes, Jesus. So bright students, I love it. Yes, yes, Sean. Harvey, I'm loving it. Yes. So there are different levels of education as we go throughout our school life here in Jamaica. It might be different wherever you are. We know that we go from, you know, after finish the prep school, finishing the prep school, it's no longer common entrance. That was way back, not in my day at all. Um, GSAT, so I did GSAT. Moving from GSAT, now we have PEP. Right. So moving from that, you're going to go to the other stage and the other stage would be high school where you complete CXCs and CSECs. Right. 
So you're moving on from that and then you go, you probably, yes, you did GSTAT too, good. Then you move on from that and then you, you, you go to um, what they call it now, you could do a diploma, you could do a certificate, um, um, certificate diploma, associate, bachelor's, moving on up to master's, moving on up to PhD, you know what I'm saying. You can go on and on, postgrad diploma, you name it. What am I talking this morning about true education? What is true education? I'm not going to settle with what the world has to offer read true education because when you talk about that you're talking about a heavenly school we're not talking about a normal school where you just go and get a red red mark in your book with a ticky and your, a smiley face and probably some no we're talking about we're gonna walk on a street of gold and getting some 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 big fat fruits like here in jamaica no so much more bigger, so much more bigger. We're talking about walking up to the school of Jerusalem. Don't you want to be a part? Say, I want to be a part. Say it one time in the chat. I want to be a part, right? So I'm speaking about true education, the ultimate education to take us to the school of Jerusalem. Let's talk about Jerusalem University this morning. Let's talk about, let's talk about Jerusalem university this morning now we can gather all the knowledge and i'm reading from steps to cry um, um, um messages to young people we're all young here thank you sister pop San, for saying that all right so it says they may gather all knowledge you may gather all knowledge from books and all the things that they can give and yet be ignorant to the first principles of righteousness which could give them the character approved by God. So let me tell you the criteria of going to this school. It is not CXCs, okay? It's not the, the bachelors and the PhDs and stuff like that. It goes way beyond that, yes? It is a mark, right? It is a print stamped on your heart from the master teacher himself, which means, what's the book? What's, what's your textbook? Let's talk about a textbook, right? We need to get into the word of God. We need to be on point with this to make it to Jerusalem. I'm not going to spend a very long time. I realize my time is running out and I, I just started talking. I'm so excited about this topic because I live this the most essential education for our youth today, our youth today to gain is that which to fit them for the higher grades of the school above. Praise God. Praise God in the chat. The higher school, the higher school, the grades that we're attaining today is to fit us for the higher school above which means walking in the path of righteousness that God from appearance, because they set me on the path, now I'm able to walk in the path of righteousness to God. So the grades that we're attaining today will help us to achieve, to be, to be a part rather of the University of Jerusalem. It is an education that will teach us how to reveal God, rather, or how God is revealed in the world. That is what true education is this morning. It is not, it is not something to prepare us for the next level of the success of earth. It is to prepare us for a life that we are suffering from down here, that we want to know more of, that we want to be a part of, that we want to stop suffering right? It's a, it's, it's, it's a life that, listen to me, man, I, I can't even begin to think about what a university it will be. And you guys are my classmates. Listen, we have to help each other. Show me your work. Come on now. You know what I mean. Show me your work. Help me. Let's move along together. Let's work together as we achieve. Finally, let me read and, 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 and ensure that we end on time. It says the highest education, those who give, them, give themselves to learn the way and the will of God are receiving the highest education. Praise God. Praise God. Let's go one more time. It says those who give themselves to learn, let us avail ourselves. Let us allow the Lord to teach us to walk in his will, to walk in his way this morning. 
the will of God and receive the highest education from him, that it is possible for morals to receive. We are able to receive it. Mighty God, Father God sent down the true teacher from heaven for us so we could learn from him. So we can be a part of the university. We get the best teacher. We have no reason to fail. We have no reason to fail. His life literally, he literally walked on earth to teach us. And he left us a rubric in which we should follow. And as I end this morning, it says they are building their experience. We, we are building our experience, not on the sophisticated, trees of the world but union principles that are eternal eternal therefore the minds that we have know if you are aspiring for success of the earth and the things of the earth they will fade away let us aspire to have true education to learn from the master teacher himself that we can make it to God's eternal kingdom, the university of Jerusalem. Let us pray. Almighty God and eternal Father, what a privilege you have given us through your son, Jesus Christ, so we can be called sons, so we can even be called students. Father God, the young man who had strayed, dear God, came back to his father and said, call me a servant. God, we are honored to be students in this classroom. Father God, I pray that we will acquire the knowledge, attain it, apply it. And dear God, that we, all of us, all if some of us are here, I've never probably finished a certain level, level of education, but we have the opportunity to make it to the University of Jerusalem. Be with us even now as we walk this path. In your mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so very much, uh, Sister Claudia, for sharing with us true education and the fact that or some teachers, when we're in the classroom, when the dismissal time comes, we go home and the children go their way. But our teacher, Jesus Christ, is ever with us. And that's such a blessing. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. All right. Okay, uh, we're going to be closing out now. We want to thank you so very much for joining us. Uh, just a few reminders, Dunamites. Oh, wait, before we go, can we say happy birthday? If I could sing, I would. Happy birthday to Winnell. I hope I'm pronouncing Win Winlin. Winlin to Winlin Benjamin joining us from England. Happy, happy birthday. I saw you put it in the chat and the Dunamites were just cheering you on. So we want to wish for everybody a wonderful, wonderful day. I know a lot of us are online. As you go, please click the, the like button. Press the like button. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share the video as well. If you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit the all post notification bell. So remember to subscribe, like, share, and drop a comment. Before you leave, drop a comment in the comments section. We want to also ask you to join us next week, Wednesday, same time, same place, 6 a.m. Eastern time as we bring you another refreshing of morning glow. And I have a special, special thing for you this morning. Our evangelistic series is coming up. I'm going to play the promo right now. Feel free to share it on your social media platforms. For those of you who are part of the Dunamai Church, pastor sends it out, share it far and wide. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you. And remember, our master teacher is with us, beside us, and in us always. Bye, Dunamites. See you soon. <laughs> The Dunamis Seventh-day Adventist Church presents the Friend of God Evangelistic Series starting July 9th at the Dunamis Seventh-day Adventist Church with dynamic evangelist and senior pastor Donald C. Francis. 
Come and be blessed by Spirit Filled Music from our singing evangelist Crystal Ward. Special features include health nuggets, marriage tips, and social events. Join us on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7.30 p.m. and on Sabbaths at 11 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. Friend of God Evangelistic Series. Be there to be blessed.